Alright guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus with me, Alex Vo. And as you can see, we are now picking up his dress. Hey! I can see your underwear, your stone underwear. I see London, I see France. I see Colossus's underpants. Wow, you have pretty good eyesight. <laughs> can't even remember where that's from. Um, but now, yeah, we're basically climbing up his giant metal dress. Which isn't too hard. And I should get out my sword, because we're going to be coming on a couple of his vital points soon. This guy, if I remember correctly, has like four or five vital points. Another one of the reasons that makes him one of the longest colossi- one of the colossus- colossi. Come on, I can get that right. Hmm, nice thighs, I guess. <laughs> or nice calves. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, what I was saying earlier is there's a bunch of stuff, unlockables and time trials and junk like that, that we we still have to do, but I'm probably going to do those as bonus videos, because, well, we're at the last Colossus. I obviously didn't do that. Um, I gotta go up here, I believe. Come on, we're almost here. Uh, where is it from here? Oh shoot, we gotta be on the other side, that's right. Because as you can see there, there was a little bit of, um... breakaway from part of his dress. And we actually have to go up this way. So we're almost up his torso. We're only, only about halfway up this guy, I think. Let's see. Uh, yeah, his legs end about here. So we're not even, we're not even close to getting up to this guy's body. Because that's where... Well, we are at this guy's body. What am I talking about? Because that's where this guy starts actually being hard. Because right now it's just plain platforming. Alright, there we go. Good job, Prince. As you can see, there's a little black mark here. What could that be? Could that be something to make him drop his freaking axe? No, it's not anything like that. It is... Basically to make him bring his hand over so we can jump on that. And I missed. Oh, wait, are you bringing it back? Goody, goody, goody. Good Colossus. Because as you can see, he's got these shiny armband things. So what we're going to need to do right now is he's going to be looking at us the entire time and just being like, oh, what's this? And we're going to be actually just climbing up him right in front of him. Now, as you can see, there's another black mark. And just give it one little stab. Don't oh, come on. And we can get on his other hand. Oh, we didn't get it. One second. Is it bringing it back? It is. Oh, I cannot even see. Where are we? Okay, we didn't make it. Uh, that's fine. We got plenty of we've got plenty of grip left, so we're not in any danger. Except I cannot. Get up there. Do not fall, do not fall, do not fall. We fell. Oh well. It's not that big of a deal. We're just I'll just meet you guys back up there in like half a second. Yeah, why not? I'll I'll keep this in. This guy's this guy's gonna be a few bit this guy's gonna be like four or five videos anyway, so. There's no Okay, that's interesting actually. I don't think I've ever done that. Um <laughs> that was really lucky. You're really lucky. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna... I'll meet you guys back up there. I was gonna say, I'll just leave this in because this guy's such an epic boss. But I'll just meet you guys back up there because I just fell... Oh no, we're only there. I'm not gonna make up my mind. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'll just leave this in, because there's no reason not to. It's going to be take like five seconds. Come on. After all, it's just plain old platforming that we're used to after this entire game. And just be careful of that if you can see it, the little gap in the cement, because it's there for a reason. Make you think, oh, I'm going to be fine. And then, of course, the dicks that I go are like, ha ha ha. You didn't think that we'd do this. 
And of course, now I can't get up this simple platform. Why the hell not? Alright. Come on. And charge. And there we go. Alright, we're good. So, come on. Jump. Swing and jump. See, it doesn't usually do that little swing and jump thing except for here, so... Alright, so now we just gotta get back to his hand. So, step, 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 step. Bring your hand back. Check what's up with your back. I bet it's a parasite like me hanging on, stabbing you, sucking some blood. Su sucking some of your spraying black corrosive blood all over me. And uh, I'm not even gonna continue with that, that's kinda gross. Alright, go over here. And stabby stab stab stab. What is that? Some kind of some kind of tick or something. Oh, oh. No, come on. I want you to jump. I don't want you to hang on and be like, oh. I'm not gonna do that. I want you to jump and make it onto his hand. Alright. We'll jump, look away. No. No. No, 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 no. Where are we? Where are we? Uh, we're still on his arm. Okay. Uh, no, we're not. No, we're not. I really like the music for this boss, actually. He's one of the few bosses that doesn't has actual music besides regular battle music. Um, the huge orchestra, like... Da -da 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 Whoa. Sorry, I like, just freaked out in my um, room. But it kind of reminds me of, like, the really placid music... Well, the placid royal music from the Disney Aladdin movie. Which, I mean, any of you that know me, of course, know that that's my favorite Disney movie of all time, so... <laughs> of course, I really like this. It kind of reminds me of some of the church music from Hunchback of Notre Dame, too. Another great movie. Um, I need to watch that one again, actually. I'm not really as familiar with that one as I am with, like, Aladdin... Ooh, ooh, no, don't, don't, don't shake me off, don't shake me off, don't tase me, bro. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get on top of your hand fast enough to just run over. Oh, come on, stop. He keeps rolling his hand, and I'm like, oh, I'm on top, but you're going to roll your hand, so I'm not going to be on top anymore. All right, just shake one more time. Let's get it out of your system. Because I want to... Not fall. Alright, he's gonna roll his hand. Come on. It's like the Andros hands from Star Fox. Oh, we're gonna fall. And we're not gonna fall anywhere close because. God damn it. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Roll your hand, roll your hand, roll your hand. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shake, shake. Alright, I'm just gonna stick stick around on this guy and try to get back some of my grip grip gauge. Because otherwise we're we're dead. We should be fine right here. Well until he shakes like that. Alright, so I'll I'll be able to get it in between this shake and the next one. Oh, we've already taken away like an eighth of his health just from the those weak points. I don't know if they actually will keep doing damage. So basically the reason we need to do this is, as you can see, that he's got light on his shoulder. Now that'll actually hurt us if we try to cross it. I'm not going to show you because I'm going to go flying if I do. And it'll take... It'll take quite a while to get back up. Okay. No. Alright. Stab. Turn. Okay, wait. Alright. Okay, this guy's taking a little bit longer to get done with this part than I was thinking he was gonna. Come on, Grip Gage, come back. Okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Go ahead, shake, go ahead. That's that's fine with me, I've got enough grip gauge now. Stab. Right, settle down. 
no, I didn't do it. No, don't jump, don't jump. Okay, you're good, 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 good. Oh, talk about crap commentary, because now I'm just concentrating. Oh, come on. How hard is that one little back jump? No, I need you to jump. I don't need you to fall. Oh, cool. He's actually gonna... Are you coming back? What, what are you... No, where... Oh, cool. That was a complete fluke, but we're on his hand. That's all I need. <laughs> alright, alright. So now basically what we have to do is wait for this guy. So we can get some of a crypt gauge back, and now... Die. Alright. That's okay, that's okay. As long as we don't fall. I just need grip gauge back. Oh, uh, shoot. What do we do from here? Because we can't go over the light, like I told you. I believe what we gotta do here is actually do a flying jump from his hand when he holds it up like that. Well, if he'll hold it up for half a second so we can actually try to do something. I believe we've got to do this. And I would be right, because we're now on top of him. No, don't, don't, come on, don't. we just got up on top of you, don't fling us down. Come on. <laughs> oh my goodness, so we just basically rolled across him completely by accident and don't fall. Okay, we're good. We're good. We've got we've got grip gauge back. We're on top of him. We're good. We can actually stay up here. <sighs> All right. So now, as you might have seen, he's got a weak spot up here. If he'll stop for half a second, he's got a weak spot here on his shoulder, but I can't find it, so it's not that big of a deal. Or is it? Or is it? Where did you go, weak spot? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Come on, Drew. Oh god, I hate that song. Don't ask me why either, I just don't like it. Just because it's such an overplayed song for weddings and dances and such like that. Was that your weak spot? Please tell me that was your weak spot. Okay. Um, that might have been his weak spot. But, I don't think we need it now that we're on top of his head, so... Oh, come on. We just need to get up on top of your brain and give you a shave. That, the same close shave we gave all the other guys. Okay, now you're just promo you know, Now you're just trying to prolong the inevitable. Because we're already up on top of you. That's the hardest part of fighting you. And for some reason, we're not grabbing onto your hair, but you're gonna die. I mean, this guy's probably the most pathetic when you kill him, because, I mean, he can't do anything. He can't even run away, because he's a mountain. I mean, yeah, he's got legs, but have you ever tried running in a stone dress? <laughs> have you? Have you ever tried to run in a stone dress? And you thought, heel some of you might think heels are bad. Wait until you try a Goron dress. <laughs> Plus his face kind of reminds me of the Sentinels from X-Men. You know, the ones that uh, Magneto built. The ones that are in the arcade version. I don't know where else they are, because the arcade versions are really the only X-Men things I ever cared about. I mean, I kind of got into the comics really a long time ago, because I had one from... I had, like, one of the Wolverine toys that came with the comic. It was, like, the reboot of him that made him into an actual character. Like, the cool Wolverine he is now. The one that actually gave him a backstory. And I had the, the, the action figure of him in the, uh... Him as the... Oh, what? No, no, what? 